All right, so we had a little bit of a late start this morning. I slept through my alarm clock. I'm really glad nobody was expecting me to meet them this morning. Because they would have been disappointed. Because the funk would have been late. But we are back out here on the water, back in the kayak. You know, one of the most enjoyable ways for me to fish is via kayak. It's my hands down favorite way to be out here on the water. So, like I said, back in the kayaks. Been a little while since I have been kayak fishing. So, keep your fingers crossed. Wish me luck. We are out here today in beautiful Freeport, Texas. Right outside of Galveston. So, like I said, wish me luck. Fingers crossed. Hopefully catch me. Okay. current gonna push my kayak different directions so that's always good there we go oh, this feels like a speck yeah oh nope sand trout speckled trout cousin but I like this water movement right here nice current but this little guy we're gonna get him off somebody's chasing bait over there probably a sand trout he's chasing on the surface we open for flounder over here. <clears throat> but I'm not gonna be picky this morning. Late start. So I'll take anybody who's biting. Let's see. Nope, a couple hits there. Another hit. Yep, that one's on. Yeah. Well, this time. The sand trout. I'll say this time it's a whiting, but no, it's another sand trout. Like this when you're hit when they're hitting on top water or that upper water column. That's when it's a good time to throw that that cork. So, but we already we're already throwing this, so I don't want to fish that bank for a flounder. So I'm not gonna change it up. Ooh, that was a good hit. There it goes. I think they're all the same, you know, just another sandy. Yep, more sand trout. And if they are little sandies, you can cull through the small ones and see if you can start landing some bigger stuff. All right here you have tide going out and you have a current. You know that body water, this body water. So it gives you a nice current right here. Whenever you see that current and you see that water movement like that, it is always great to fish. I have caught a lot of flounder in very little current. So if you have some nice current, odds are you're gonna have some nice fish in there. In this case, we got sand trout, but that's okay. Like I said, we're not being too picky today. We're gonna. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. A little better. A little better guy. Things would be an undersized flounder. Oh, oh no, that's a nice speckled trout. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, this is the first for me. I just doubled up on specs. That is funny. Look at that. Double specs. Double specs. But that's what I mean. That's what I mean by fishing the current because you never know what's in there. You know, that time I just threw a little to the left of where I was fishing 
and I got these guys. There's a kayaker right over there, so I'm gonna try to hurry up. Try to hurry up, so if I don't show them so good, I apologize, but I'd rather not give up this spot just yet. Just got out here, so it's kinda, kinda beginnings of the fishing day for me. But yeah, so we got, we got one on pink, which is already ripped. So here we go, look at that. Isn't that funny? My, both my lines are both my ten oh that guy's gone both my tandems are caught up but that's too funny oh my goodness there you go there we go we got the tether tandem there we go we got it there little guy there he goes even with that pink um pink gold bean rib like that you really got it good that's funny that's the first for me I never caught tandem fish on a tandem lure like that we have two more kayakers coming out so so you have a grass line and you have a little ditch underneath the surface so that is always a great place a hot zone to target some predator fish in this case double tandem cope so we are looking for some flatties There we go. Got it for the little guy. And let's see. There it goes. Here's a little baby boy. So I was wondering if there was any flounder over here. I know it was just one little one, but. That kind of leaves a promise I haven't fished out here in so long. I couldn't tell you what anything is biting on, what color they want right now. I really don't know. And like I said before, it's been... Is that one? Maybe. Yep, think so. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Pull the drag. We love when they pull drag. Love when they pull drag. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, this is a nice guy. We can get him up here. I don't want to put too much tension on the line. I'm gonna let him kind of work himself out a little bit. He has both lures in his mouth, so there was no no reason for us to no reason for us to rush it because he we got him. We got him. We, the last thing we want to do is have a fell line or a fell knot. So when you see him like that and you don't see the lure at all and it's in his mouth, and he's not opening and kicking it, he's gotten that bad boy. This is a great flounder. This is why we woke up late this morning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is why we slept in. Man, I'm telling you, you know what? If you don't know what it's like to hook a nice flounder, and this might, this isn't even that great of a flounder. It's still a good catch, but it gets that heart rate going. That heart rate going it gets that blood pumping, and this is what I this in this moment, right here. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, that is a nice, nice flounder. Nice guy. Nice guy, right there. Uh, let's put him on board. I'm gonna worry about that lure here in a second because it's gonna take a minute. Let him chill out a little bit. Ooh, just touching 17 inch flounder. Right there. Bam! Just 17. We're calling it 17. We are calling you 17. Mother, look at this beautiful guy, Gope Tandem. You can never go wrong with Gope. They just, they're expensive, they tear up. But, you know, five bucks gets you a flounder, I guess. All right, there we go. Got this beautiful guy here. Got him, got him, got him. He's going to make it off. And he's gone. There we go. Oh, oh it broke off. 
Oh no! It broke off. Man, I had a red on. That was a nice red. There we go. Oh, oh that's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. He's trying to go back in that grass. I'm not going to let him stay out of the grass. I can see, I hear him blowing up over here. I think he's tangled up in this grass now. But I hear him blowing up. They're like smashing on bait in this grass. So, I have. I said if they do it again, I'm going to go get them. And he did it again. So I was just casting to see. I think as soon as I get close, he's probably going to take off. I can see his tail right here. But I know he's going to take off again. And I hope to keep this line taut. Yeah, let's see what we got going on here. Yep, see we are stuck in the grass and he is upside down. I am in here. I'm stuck here. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Get this grass out of here. Oh, and he got off. Ah, I broke off again. Oh, my God. I broke off again. It was wrapped around this grass. Oh, my God. You can just see he ripped out. Oh, that was a nice red. There we go. What I've been working for, <laughs> working and working. We got him secure. Gonna get that out of his mouth. There we go. Yep. Just missing 16 inches. Nice guy right here. Thick guy. Yep, 15 and 3 quarters. We're gonna let him go. Come on, guy. All right, so that's gonna do it today. You know, I came out here, came out here late, got a late start, and kind of got off the water just a little bit early too. It's around two o'clock and I got out here at seven. So for me, that's really a short day, but I had a great time out here. You saw that I hooked up to a few fish. I was throwing other things beside goat, but they were just responding well to the goat today. So you saw me pull out a few fish out there with the goat. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up. Thanks.